hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to add this image slider to your blogger website so in the previous video i had shown you how to design this using a library called swiper.js now in this video i'll show you how to add this to your blogger website so let's get started <laughs> All right, so here I have logged into my blogger dashboard and uh, let's add this slider into a post. So let's create a new post and uh, I'll just name it slider. You can add any title you want over here. And the next thing you need to do is you need to change this into the HTML view. So click on this button and click on HTML view. And now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag for that. And let's go back to our source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's go to the styler CSS file and let's copy all this CSS from this line of code till here. And let's paste it over here. All right, now let's go ahead and paste the HTML. So let's go over here and let's copy this HTML code from here. And I'll just select it till here. We'll also copy this script tag and let's paste it after this style tag. And now here we can see that this is the JavaScript of the Swiper.js library. Now let's go ahead and create a script tag and let's add our JavaScript code over here. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And here we can see we have this JavaScript code. So let's copy this and let's paste it inside here. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to also copy the link of the CSS file of Swiper.js. So here we can see that we have added this link of the CSS file. So let's copy this link and I'll just paste it over here just before this style tag. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to add the images. So right now the images are set to images forward slash the image name. But in our blogger website we don't have this images folder. It is inside our local project. So we need to upload these images somewhere and get the links and paste them over here. Now for this video, I'm going to insert the images right here inside the post itself and get the link and paste it over here. So let's click on this insert button and let's click on upload from computer. And here let's click on choose files. And here we have these four files. So let's select all of them and let's click on open. And here we can see all the images are displayed. So let's select all the images and let's click on select. And here I'll just select original size and OK. And now here we can see all the images are uploaded. So let's get the links and paste it down here. So here we can see we have this href tag. So this is the link of the image. So let's copy this. So this is the first image we can see one.jpg. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it right here. And we will do the same for the second image. So here we have the second image. So let's copy this link and let's paste it down here. And then we have the third image. So let's copy this link and I'll just paste it over here. And then lastly, we have the fourth image. So let's copy the link and let's paste it over here. Now we can go ahead and delete these images from here. We already have the links, so we can just delete them. Now here you can add your own images, just add the links of your images over here. And if you want to add a new slide, you can just create a new swiper slide division and add the new image over here. All right, once you've done all of that, let's go ahead and uh, click on publish. And let's click on confirm. And here we can see that our post has been published. So let's click on view. And here we can see that our slider is being displayed and it is working all right. So that's basically how you can add this slider to your blogger website. Now if you go back to the post and if you go to the JavaScript code, here we can see that we have added some of these options over here. So here we have added this pagination. We have set the effect to cover flow, which is what we see over here. And then we have some more options which we can change over here. Now if you go to the Swiper.js website, you can find all the options that you can add to your slider. So let me just show you that. All right, here I'm in swiperjs.com and uh, let's go to documents and let's click on Swiper Core API. 
And here if you scroll down, here we can see that we have all the options displayed over here. So here we have the parameters. So you can add all these options and experiment with different options over here. So for example, if you want to add autoplay to your slider, you can just search for autoplay over here. So here if you go to autoplay, here we can see that it says we can add this autoplay and we can add a delay. Then the slider will automatically go to the next image. So let's go ahead and copy this and let's add it to our options. So I'll just add it over here. And here instead of 5000, let's set it to 3000, which is three seconds. So let's click on update. And let's go back to our post and we'll just reload this page. And now we can see that the slider is changing to the next slide after three seconds automatically. So that's how you can add different options to your slider from this list of options. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.